Afif, uh, police were definitely anticipating trouble at tonight's Halloween protest. What's the latest on the ground? That's right. I'm here in Central Devoir Road, and this is where police had earlier fired multiple rounds of tear gas. That's because there were hundreds of people who were gathered here to celebrate the Halloween festivities tonight. They tried to make their way into Lan Kwai Fong area, and that's a very popular nightlife district with uh, pubs and bars, and that's traditionally uh, where the annual Halloween festivities are being celebrated. Of course, as you guys have mentioned, uh, there are many security measures around Central today. We can see riot police, dozens of them, uh, are stationed at multiple junctions in a Central area. Earlier, there were hundreds of people gathered at various junctions in Central ahead of the Lan Kwai Fong uh, nightlife district, as I was saying. Uh, police had also, uh, we heard, fired rounds of uh, pepper spray and rubber bullets as well. They also had made several arrests uh, because they were asking some people to remove their face masks, uh, but the people refused to comply against it. And so it became a bit violent and the police had to make uh, several arrests here in Central. Now, it is Halloween, so traditionally people are dressed up in costumes. Many of them here who had marched from Victoria Park had donned on face masks. Now, the police have said it is permissible for them uh, to do so. However, the police will have the powers under the anti-mask ban to ask people to remove their facial coverings, face mask, or any face paint to be able to identify them. And if they do not comply, the police have the right to arrest them. So at this point in time, what we're seeing are really just empty roads uh, here in Central because of the tear gas that the police had fired uh, multiple rounds of it much earlier. Mm. Afifa, there's a lot going on over there with the tear gas being fired, the rubber bullets being fired. How is all of this affecting businesses and party revelers tonight? Well, businesses have definitely taken a hit. As I've said, you know, this uh, area, Lan Kwai Fong, a very busy nightlife area, uh, traditionally attracts thousands of people on the 31st of October uh, who are celebrating Halloween. And these revelers would hit the bars and the clubs and party late into the night. Uh, usually, the police have, you know, had to implement uh, crowd control measures just to contain the people who are partying in the area. But tonight, although the, the measures are in place, it seems that the party uh, at Lan Kwai Fong has sort of died down. A lot of people I spoke with uh, here uh, earlier were telling me that they were afraid of uh, getting caught up in any possible confrontations between the protesters and the police. And many of them did uh, get caught up in the tear gas incident when the police had fired it much earlier. Now, um, the Lan Kwai Fong business owners, especially the owners of bars and pubs, uh, they have been uh, suffering a, a decline in, in business and profits uh, over the last couple of months as protests have rocked the city. They say that business has dropped from 30 to 60 percent and they usually bank on tonight uh, to really rake in uh, the cash, as they say. Uh, but that's not happening uh, for them at this moment. Uh, a lot of them are saying uh, that they hope that there will be uh, just enough of a crowd uh, to just keep the night going.